Hello, Xfire. My name is Dogglefish, and I'm just starting with Xfire, so bear with me. Uh, I'm going to do some live commentary of Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, it's an awesome indie game. Uh, not the best of graphics, but it's an indie game, so I let it slide. Uh, so, I'm going to start a new game. So, let's just hit that button and get right to her. Uh, I'm going to start a female, actually. So, once it loads, there we go. So, welcome. I'm not going to go over it. Uh, and if you have never seen this, I'm sure you don't really care about this whole interesting part. Or, not really interesting, but you know, this whole part of the beginning and whatnot. So, select your character's general. Female. I, my father was a veteran warrior. Um, I spent my early life as a shop assistant. And, uh, uh, yep. And as a young adult, I'm going to be a university student. I'm going to be smarter than you. Ha ha ha. So, what made you. Sorry, I'm flipping the mic there. What made me um, become an adventurer? Lust for money and power. So, I want to be a rich, powerful, respected kid. Yeah, that sounds like me. Yeah. Mm hmm. Become an adventurer. What would this game saving policy be? Realistic. No, okay. So, it's female. So, uh, oh, I'm having issues. Oh, I had issues. Uh, bam. That's better. Okay. So, this is your skill level up tree that you'll see lots of times. Normally your character's here, but I haven't made my character yet, for one. So, um... Oh, excuse me. Um, so each of these skills is governed by an attribute here. Uh, agility. And also if you put, sorry, if you put more points into agility, you'll get skill points, weapon points, and whatnot. So, I'll show you. Here in agility, bam, we got five more weapon points. Right? So let's just, bam. Okay, so charisma is how many guys you can have in your party. Intelligence is just, you get more in your following skills can be developed more, um, uh, this is just, you know, you get more stuff, and better, and strength is pretty obvious, sorry, that's a lot of commentary, it's a little, uh, a little daunting, <laughs> so I apologize if I sound like crap, um, so let's see, so all these other skills are very important, so pathfinding is very important because it increases your map speed, which is important when you're running away, from guys that you don't want to fight. Um, riding is an important part in this game. Uh, it's one of the uh, selling features is the amazing horse combat that's in it. Um, prisoner management, how many prisoners you can have leadership. I don't have enough charisma to make it more. So, uh, it's pretty low right now. But Or two, I guess it's pretty high for my level. But, you know. Uh, let me see here. And let's go with first aid surgery. So, you can see what they do with the toss there gives you a uh, better chance that a struck party member will just be wounded, which is important because you don't want to lose party members. That's, that's bad. It's very bad. Okay. So, <laughs> you can see here that it seems that my choices at the beginning there really reflected on one-handed weapons, which I like. I like one-handed weapons. They make you you know, hit faster, and you can guard better, I feel. Um, crossbows, I like when you're on horseback, because it's a little easier to use than archery. Um, which I'll show you later on why it's difficult, rather than just trying to say, because it's kind of hard to explain. And pole arms like lances and quarter staffs and stuff. So, just character's face. Now, the character creation here isn't the best, I find, because it seems like they always just kind of look the same as you go along, right? And, you know, except for that. <laughs> so what I usually do, I don't, don't, I don't do this for like Oblivion or Fallout or Mass Effect, but for this, I just do this. Just randomize until I find one that I like. Big guys. Let's go with this. A little bit of Marion. Let's just bring that eyebrow shape down. Okay. I like that. 
I don't know what I'll do. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you can make it age. Age doesn't really affect, but you can make her granny just for shit. Um, granny out on the field. Granny, go forward. Kill that man for me. Har, har, har. Um, anyway. So, Calvary is torn apart by her kingdom, and it's just, it's very, it's a very angry nation, I find. Everybody's always pissed off at each other at some point for something. So, you have all these different starting points. Um, I'm going to start in the Kingdom of Vegiers. It's kind of the northern area, snowy, snowy ridge, and we're glad when the spires of Ray Bade, and it's kind of like capital city, I guess. Which cities aren't, not really capital cities, but, you know, it's just what it is. So, let's go. I'm exhausted, so I decided to go outside. Or actually, I will wake, wake up, and I go outside. So, sorry if I'm rushing, I gotta make that ten minutes. Um, so here's my crossbow, you can see, that's aim, and the closer they are together, the better your accuracy is. Dude just hit me. So, now I got my sword and shield out, and he doesn't have anything else, I guess. So right click is block, or parry. I would show parry, but he's not doing anything, so, of course, now he whips it out. So you can see, mm, parry, and the way you move the mouse depends on what kind of attack you do. So if you move it forward, you're going to do... And over the head attack, you're going to move it back, you're going to do a thrust. I guess I'm in a really bad spot. Because <laughs> I can't really see the merchant. Um, I'll get into relations later. It's not that important right now. So are you alright? Let's talk more inside. Okay. I'm in his house now. So, nice house. I'm going to jump. F. F is the action button in this game, not E. E is like a Sparta kick. You know, good times. Ah, I like. Okay. So he has a proposition for me. So the starting quest is that they their city is being driven away by bandits and getting bolder and blah blah blah. So I have to go save them pretty much. That's the same for every game, you know. Be my bitch. Okay. You know. So his brother was taken away by the bandits and now he's like, Go help him for me, please. So yeah, sure. So your first task is to make a make an army, or it's not really an army. Sorry, it's more of a small party. So you see, collect five men to get money because you want to be a hire these people. You can't just get them for free. Very good. You say very good a lot. <laughs> you might notice this as I continue on with this. You say very good a lot. Find me again in the tavern. All right. So I can press Q and gives me game log, which will be like, this village has been ready by this, and the recent messages so you can see my quest, my not kind of damage I got, shot difficulties if you're using a bow or throwing knives or whatever, my quest, game concepts, but I can, like, I can explain those, lots of characters, and <laughs> person who made this game really made stuff that's hard to pronounce, so if I'm talking and I sound retarded while I'm doing it, it's because it's hard to pronounce. So there's multiple, multiple people. There are claimants to the throne that you can help uh, take over for them. There's various locations. So there's a bunch of villages. There's castles as well, and there's also towns. That's handy. <laughs> and there's also towns where you do, where you sell your stuff and whatnot. So I can see my relation. It doesn't say now, but you can see. That the Vagiers are at war with the Nords right now, and how um how it's going. So I'm gonna just make a little map here. This is the map. We'll get into it later, but right now I am getting close to my point. So I'll stop here, and I have some looters to deal with when I get back. Ah oh, crap! <laughs> Hope they don't die. All right, so. See the power map. Lots of stuff will change. Lots of stuff will change. This game is very play oriented. So, with that, how about a horse? I will see you all later in the next episode. Good night.